Hello everyone. Okay, this is Martin. This is the recap video for last week. We're talking about the week that happened on May the 23rd to May the 27th. And uh, this is the, the red line here depicts the end of the uh, trading, the previous trading week on the Friday here. So you see right away, uh, this is the first uh, candle um kind of up down candle sunday monday trading and then after that went down uh and um basically i had mentioned that um uh to, to wait for price to come up to this red sell area it, it never did however there are some really good trading opportunities here you could have made a lot of pips and this is uh this is the first thing i want to show you so how when do you actually get into a trade um it, when you're looking at the daily chart daily charts and i know a lot of you a lot of you are working during the daytime you come home you're tired you don't you can't look at your computer during the daytime and you certainly are look should be looking at your computer in the evening but let, let's uh walk you through step by step to see how you could have made a lot of pips on this okay so starting uh, starting here uh this is the the previous week friday this is the first um trading day right here sunday monday and you can see uh it's a bit of a bullish candle right however um in the evening monday evening after coming home from work um it didn't matter this is what at five o'clock this is what you would have seen with this candle right here okay so at five o'clock you would have seen this and uh price might have started up here and started to slowly come back down right this is the uh, start right here with this black bearish candle this is the start on uh, monday evening and it ends here um kind of uh, the next day right here but this is what what you look at you see prices come down price has gone up you have to look at this as a valley okay so the first thing i would have done is drawn a trend line right right there then i see that this has gone up and i'm going to anticipate remember i keep saying that anticipate where price is going to go so or price is in a downtrend prices below the 50 here the macd take a look below the macd histo bars are below zero i'm ex even though that's all i see monday evening this candle right here i'm expecting price to go down lower and so i am going to place a pending sell stop order right about there okay just below the um previous uh candle right here okay just below there five six six pips below that if if i and if you would have done that you would have made at least down to here 41 pips okay you see down to the bottom of this black um uh, bearish candle okay and you can see then on the wednesday and thursday these two days uh it it retraced back up there so here's another pullback okay let me just uh maybe zoom in a bit here okay so here's the pullback and you uh you would have to draw again remember i see i i i tell you to keep drawing trend lines okay so here's a pullback again expecting price to go to the downside why well take a look price is still below the eight moving average price is below the 21 right here price is definitely below the 50 and um we're going to place a pending sell stop order just below the low of that candle right here okay below this previous white candle right about there okay take a look and that's good for another 32 pips or so so here's one trade right here here's the next trade this 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 would have uh automatically um uh triggered in thursday evening because remember you're seeing this white candle thursday evening after you come home from work okay drawing a trend line you're going to place a uh, you place a pending sell stop order thursday evening below the low of this candle even though they're daily you can do that guys okay so anticipating price to come down your stop loss would have been above the previous swing high like right here okay above the eight so your stop loss would have been there okay or i mean you could have placed a stop loss higher above the 21 uh because these are both swing trades okay but 
Uh, wherever you place your stop loss here, this would have been adequate right here above this swing high here. And again, you would have made this trade. You would have made this trade, add them both up. Good for at least 73 pips. Okay, so that is the um, Euro USD. Now we get to the British pound USD. This pair was not a good one to trade. First of all, last week I did say uh, my bias, is, like uh, this, this pair um, was going to go down. Uh, we uh, had a huge bearish uh, engulfing candle. You can see engulfs the previous week right here. Um, if you would have gotten in right there at the end of that candle, uh, and uh, you see this next candle did did go down. However, went up again. The buyers did push it up. You you uh, would have made about um, let me take a look about 23 pips. Okay, better than nothing. And if you would have closed your trade on the end of this day here, uh, Sunday Monday, um, or let's say on Monday evening, uh, you would have made 23 pips. If you would have held on to the trade, the next day went all the way back up. You would have. Um, you would have lost a lot of pips, okay? Depending on where your stop loss is. So um, that's it for there. And um, let me take a look here. The the other thing I want to go though go over is something else that's entirely um, entirely you have to watch for. Even though I said watch for price to come back down, and I was expecting price to come down uh, a lot further, it didn't. However, take a look at this price. This is the previous Friday here, a big huge engulfing candle, right? The next day, kind of a doji, okay, but a little bit bearish, but still a doji. The next day, a huge up candle. Could you have taken advantage of that? First of all, understand that price went down and with this candle did not close below the 21. So kind of expecting or anticipating, let's say, a bounce back off the support, okay? Especially when you see something like this. So you always have to expect that price is now going to reverse. Then again, draw in your trend line. You can see that right here, drawing in a trend line and placing a pending buy stop order right above the high of this inside you see this this is kind of an inside bar here or doji placing a buy stop just above here above the trend line would have given you to at least uh, 67 pips on that first day if you would have held on to it another um another let me, let me just take a look. Another 64 pips for a total, really, honestly, of um, uh, 70, anywhere from 70 to 130 pips. This would have been the big winner of last week. Again, this is a, isn't this what's called a swing buy trade? So price is going up. We're looking for a reversal, a pullback. Looking for. Even if you would, the um, according to the course I mentioned about the traditional setup, which is looking for one bullish candle to the upside. There it is right there. There's that big white bullish candle, which is the evidence that you need. Even getting in right there still would have given you, um, let me get my crosshair tool working. Okay, see, that still would have given you 73 pips. So this is the conservative um, entry as I as I taught in class right here that would have been your entry but the aggressive entry getting in right about there would have uh, almost doubled your pip production so this is a great lesson guys again always every single day keep your eye on the computer and watch for these pullbacks and then anticipate where price could be going next especially if the pullback is coming to a support area then expect price to come and bounce higher in that case, you you would be placing a pending buy stop order, okay? And now we get to the Australian USD. Um, there is another lesson here. Let me take a look. It's about okay. It's about see. Last week here we had one, two, three, four, five, six days just going sideways. There really, you know, there was not much of an opportunity to make any kind of um, money um, last week. It was just going up and down. And uh, although, although, see here, price did come up and touched my uh, sell zone, which is what I talked about in last week's video. Um, getting in right here, you would still be at the same spot. 
um, price just went up and then down again. So really no, no real good opportunity there. However, I just want to point out something again. Here with this candle and this candle, we have two bullish candles. This is a reversal right up to at least the, uh, the, the uh, well, it's up to the 8 moving average and very close to the 200. So I'm kind of expecting price to go down from here. But my, the lesson is, why did price go sideways for all these days? Well, all we have to look at is long-term support. And I'm now going to switch to the... Uh, there we go. Switch to the LEOD charts. I'm going to zoom there again. Okay. And actually, I'm now going to switch to a line chart. Okay. Take a look. See this peak here? Here's another peak. Here's a valley. Okay. And if you go across, you'll get many peaks and valleys. Bring that across. And guess what, guys? Isn't, isn't that great, eh? Prices come right down to this long-term support area the next by the way the next support area is right about there okay see over here here's a here's a valley okay here's a valley right here here's a peak you can see that a peak a peak so we got peaks and valleys numerous peaks and valleys let's uh so you can do that you switch uh, you switch your uh, chart to a line chart using the line chart uh tool above your chart your line tool above your chart and uh, let's go back to the candlestick and zoom okay so you can see this i had drawn this from the previous uh long term right here and uh, you can see price come down to the support up down up down see so um this is a good uh, uh, this is another good way to explain why price just went sideways but i do expect price to eventually keep going down on this one and um Let's see if there are any anything else of interest for last week. Okay, for the other major pairs, there were really no opportunities uh, to take any trades. Um, there was no pips to be made, but I do want to now focus on the last pair I want to talk about, which is the U.S. Swiss franc. Uh, you can see here uh, with the uh, this is the daily chart. You can see on the Sunday Monday open, we had a bearish candle right here, and I was um, last week's video. I did mention wait for price to come down to this green zone, which would have given you the best entry to the upside. That never happened. However, this next day here on the uh, Tuesday, you can see we had a one bullish uh, engulfing candle. Um, even myself, I would have gotten in at the open there or just above here. Okay, actually, that would have been the best thing, just above the high of this white bullish candle. But if you would have gotten in there, your stop loss should have been at least minimum below the eight moving average, right about there. Okay. Um, I would not have put it below here just for the fact that we're still too far away from the uh, eight moving average, okay? But your stop loss should have been down below the yellow line right here. And um, the next two days, as you know, went down, down here. So we had two uh, bearish days. But then finally on the Friday, we had a huge update. This is another huge bullish candle. The great thing about this, it actually made a new high uh, past the previous swing high back here. Okay, so uh, leading me to believe that price is going to go higher from here on. Um, but if you would have gotten in as uh, perhaps, um, and I actually did get in uh, on this candle. I actually, I am in a trade right now uh, uh, on this candle right here. Uh, but if you would have gotten in after this bullish engulfing candle right there, right now you would be in profit still if you would have held on to to this trade you would have been in profit for at least 16 pips so far so um and i believe price is going to keep going to the to the upside so that's all i see for this week um hopefully you enjoyed these uh, tips and uh, you keep on learning uh trading forks is a continuous learning pr process and uh hopefully everything else is going well with you uh, this is a shorter video for a change, so take care, guys. Send me any emails that you want, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Take care. Bye for now.